Hey friends, uh, today I'm going to make a terrarium in this tall jar. It comes with a lid which is great for making closed terrarium and it's low maintenance because of the lid. You don't have to keep spraying water a few times a day just to keep your moss alive. And you see it's a tall container so it's uh, uh, this rock, a tall, uh, it's like it's pretty big uh, will make a really good accent feature for this terrarium this is going to be the focus of this terrarium I'm gonna add the base layer with uh, white rocks really small ones first you need to have your glass clean because with a dirty glass uh, your terrarium will not look good so this is the base so that I know uh, that the drainage is good and if there is too much of water it will show up in the base layer and i'll be able to see it and i know that i shouldn't be watering but rather keep the lid open so that the water can just evaporate excess water can evaporate even the moss likes humidity but it doesn't it, it will not do well if it's extremely soggy now here goes my rock i have washed it but since it's a dirt based terrarium I don't really have to worry about washing it too well um, if it was going in the aquarium you had to really be thorough in cleaning a dragon stone because it has clay in every nook and cranny now I have another small dragon stone that I might add there and another thing I want to apologize for shooting this in my kitchen but this is the best place I can have to get messy and clean up right next to the sink so that's how it is I don't have an established workstation for a little messy job of terrariums so here goes my dirt uh, other thing I want to mention is normally uh, I microwave my dirt uh, for terrariums to make sure that there are no unwanted eggs and uh, a larvae of unwanted bugs in there uh, and it also kills mold uh, at least I try to start with a sterile environment uh, you you have an option of adding uh, isopods and all but since I do not have any of those I suppose I might be adding springtails in future but for now this is how it is going to be uh, and I have had positive results with uh, microwaving my dirt so you can see my dirt is still a little hot so that's why the steam is con uh, you can see the steam getting condensed on the glass I have this little stick thingy that I use to manipulate in the dirt and use in the plants. Again, I'm cleaning it while I am adding dirt. Here, it already looks pretty. Uh, I'm adding another small dragon stone on the side. Um, but my main rock is the center one. I, what I want is for the moss and to eventually cover patches of the rock, just like in the nature. And here I am cleaning all, whatever dirt was settled on the rock with a brush. I don't want it to look dirty. And it, the rock generally, it, it has its own clay that um, that will provide enough um, enough structure and uh, or and place for the moss to grab on and dragonstone generally absorbs a little bit of water which is again good for the plants so this is the fern asparagus fern I'm gonna add uh, it has already been rooted in water or you can just uh, take a uh, divide or take a uh, one and uh, take any one from the dirt but I, I but I prefer to put the plants without dirt to avoid any bugs coming from the dirt from a nursery pot 
and it also makes it easier for me because I don't want to add a bulk of dirt in my terrarium I just want a little bit of dirt for this plant so here goes the asparagus fun it by default always looks good in a terrarium of more dirt just that so that the roots get covered it, it is easier to do it this way instead of putting all the dirt and then trying to put the plant in it oh phytonias nerve plants are always a good option for terrarium they add the color they are super easy to take care and this was the rabbit fun uh, that's another of my favorites for terrarium especially in a rocky terrain uh, it it roots very easily in a closed terrarium because of the high humidity and you just need a little bit and it's one of the few ferns which are really small so here i'm dividing my nerve plant i don't need this big bunch just a little bit to add a splash of color in the terrarium so i'm gonna i am going to add red fetonias and green and white fetonias in the background so it, it will be kind of the back of the rock so that only a glimpse of the color a, a splash of color a, a red and white shows up when you look at the terrarium from the front because i do not want the fetonias to be the highlight but the rock has to be the highlight of the terrarium and the fetonias have to give the background a little bit of colorful background to a neutral colored rock Another of my favorite is this club moss. Uh, it thrives in humidity in, of the terrarium and uh, it covers the ground eventually which looks really nice. So it's easy and it looks awesome. So that's another of my favorite for a terrarium. Also adding a small cutting of the rabbit foot fern so what I've done is I've just taken the furry uh, rhizome part uh, a cutting from the rhizome part of the fern with a leaf and so you have to make sure that that furry rhizome part is not covered in dirt it's always exposed but it should lie on a moist surface so I'm finding the right kind of surface for this and here I find it and since it will be a closed terrarium, I don't have to worry. It, it, in my experience, it roots really well in a closed terrarium and, uh, and looks beautiful. It's a s small, um, uh, and I'm adding a little bit of wet moss, moist moss, just to add the right kind of environment uh, around the, the rabbit foot fern for it to gr grow nicely. 
and it's a small fern it never gets too tall now here i'm adding some moss now this is a frog moss from a pet store and i'm gonna add that uh, a little bit of this here and there to add the accent and this is some of the other uh, moss that i have I've gathered in the past and i have another terrarium where i grow them uh, and whenever i need it for terrariums smaller terrariums i pick some moss from there and i add it here I'm adding a few rocks here and there just uh, to um, keep the moss in place and another thing I like to use are lava rocks because it absorbs water it's light and it also provides a good surface for moss to get attached to and even other uh, roots of other plants can go in there and absorb moisture from there and i'm also adding a little bit of moss in a few of the cracks of the dragonstone i don't want to cover the whole stone with moss because then it takes away the uh, beauty of this rock so it's gonna be only at few places and eventually uh, you can let it grow naturally or if you do not like the look you can remove the moss from the places where you don't want it to be but it, since it grows so slowly you won't really need to trim these plants for a long long time So it's almost ready. I'm going to spray water nicely, even on the rock, because this rock absorbs uh, water and there is moss growing on the rock. So, and these plants love the moisture. And over the time, I um, you'll see that there's too much condensation happening in the terrarium. So uh, what I do is I open the lid for some time, let the water evaporate and after some time there is a balance uh, that's showing uh, you can see the balance coming to the terrarium where there's not too much of condensation it's not too foggy it's just perfect and only foggy during certain times of the day like mornings and evenings and that is when you know your terrarium is at the right uh, balance and you don't have to really mist it a lot unless you have been leaving the lid open otherwise it will just thrive on its own so that's pretty much much it and i'm done with this terrarium and you can look at it get some inspiration and I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I love to make terrariums and all the funky stuff with, the, with my plants. And I would love to share my ideas with all of you.
Thanks for watching.